Hi everyone, Simri here. I thought I'd take you around on my power leveling pet circuit around Draenor. I haven't actually leveled any pets for the last couple of days, but I just wanted to show you how I normally do it each evening. Uh, first of all, well since I like to start off in the garrison, I always do the one in Frostwire first. And the way I like to get there is a pretty nifty way if you've done the dungeon quests from the inn. Now, uh, let's see, today I'll be leveling the Tiny Spore Bat and the Nightshade Sproutling. So first of all, I'll summon my pet, which didn't happen. Okay. Alright. And I'll put my little treats on it. Two and the hat. Okay, make sure it's the right team. Gargra, yes, it is. And Do you here we go. Advise? Talk to me. So what I usually do is hit the first pet with three missiles, which should finish it off. It usually does. Yeah. And then when the second one comes into play, hit it with the bombing run. And sometimes I mix it up, so I'll, I'll either drop a decoy here or I'll just finish it off with a missile. Because as I said, you have your second mechanical as backup. And we'll hit it. Yep. Okay. And now is the time that you would switch in your leveling pet. So don't even have to play it with an ability. Just switch it back out. I'll switch it to the tonk. The other thing is if your uh, first pet dies a little bit earlier, which it sometimes does, I will set up minefield just before this third play, third pet comes into play so that it takes off a chunk of its damage as soon as it comes in. But th obviously that didn't happen today. Um, okay, so since my leveling pet is done, all I need to do is finish it off. This should finish it off. Okay. So that's the first battle done. And there's an easy 14 levels. Okay. So next off is we're gonna head off to Gorgron to fight my namesake's NPC. Simri Brightblade. Maybe I can okay, so off to Beast Watch. Flip my team over, which is the Blossoming Ancient and the Dark Moon Tonk. Since it's taken off a little bit of health from the last battle, I'll just normally refresh the health. And you can see my abilities are Poison Branch, Photosynthesis, Stun Seed, Missile, Minefield, Iron Cannon, which is exactly the same as what I just did with the last battle. And it doesn't really matter what you have for the leveling pet because they shouldn't really be using their abilities. It's really just one turn wonder for the levels. Um, generally I can get my pet up to level 20 from the second battle, but we'll see how this goes. Sometimes I need to play the leveling pet right at the end due to RNG, but we'll see how it goes today. First off, you want to hit it with sun Stun Seed. And then Poison Branch. And 
and then throw the hot on yourself. Or your pet, I should say. Okay, stun will happen, lantern will come in, and you want to hit it with poison branch. Okay, so you've got the poison going on it, and here's where you want to switch to your tonk. The key here is to hit it twice with missile, because what you want to do is get his health down enough so that you can hit it with iron cannon just before the wish comes off. He will cast wish, but he won't get it off in time, so this is how it happens. And now it's under the 732 mark that you need for Iron Cannon. And yep, Idol will come back in. The most important thing here is to lay the minefield, which is pretty much all you're going to be able to do before it dies. You'll be able to get one missile off, which is just like extra extra damage. So here you go. Yep, and then a last hit. You can... Okay. Usually I can try and get one last missile even though it kills it, but... Did a little extra damage today. Okay, so back to Blossoming Ancient. Stun Seed. It's basically a rinse and repeat of what you did before. So Poison Branch. And you want to throw the dot, or I should say hot, hot on yourself next. You'll notice that the seed will come off, and whether he cast Dark Rebirth on this next turn or not, it doesn't really matter because he will be stunned and he will be forced out onto the back line. So whether the Dark Rebirth happens or not, it's a real non-issue because he'll be forced to deplete his health while the mechanical comes into play. So what I usually do, yep, is cast the hot. For the dark rebirth to happen, he will have to die on this turn, otherwise it will essentially drop off on the next turn, but since he did die, there it is. I like the minefield because it instantly takes off a chunk of his health, so what you want to do here is kill it ASAP. You really don't need to do photosynthesis again because it really doesn't add anything since he has four charges left. So kill it ASAP, at least try to. And as soon as seed comes up, you'll be applying that. Yep, he'll come up again, and since his heal is happening, his repair, he will get a big chunk of health very soon. So that's why you want to apply the seed. And then just poison. On this next turn, he should be laying out his rocket. So I'll apply the heal. Okay. The poison won't be quite enough 
to finish it off. This is where I would normally switch in my leveling pet. But like I said, essentially it's a free turn because he's stunned, so he can switch back to your ancient. So whether or not your pet dies or not, the poison should it usually does kill it off, but you can see it's a little bit you need a little bit extra here. So I'll try this one. Okay, so I need one turn, that's not too bad. It didn't do much damage, so even yes. if you do use a leveling or a level 1 pet, it it should live. But, um, yeah. As you can see, every fight is a little bit different each evening. Okay, so next off, we'll be heading off to Shadow Moon. Allow. So it pretty much is a circuit, since I start off in Frostfire and then I end up in the Grand at the end. Okay, so switching to my next team. Which, again, I used to solo the fight with my Dark Moon Zeppelin. But um, since I am using a leveling pet, which I always put in the last slot, um, I decided to use a bronze whelping just to make the uh, the last pet, the Alec, a little bit, well, slightly faster since it's a magic pet. So, okay, so the Zeppelin is missile, bombing run, decoy, while the bronze whelpling is tail sweep, early advantage, and lift off. And then it shouldn't really matter what you have there, but if you have magic or something, you can apply those if you want to. But usually I just put it in for one turn, I don't necessarily play an ability. And may as well just use the heal. Not that I need it for this battle. Oh, I see someone's doing one. Alright. Where are you from? Where am I from? I'm from Overlook Ruins. Okay. Um, since this is the easiest fight, I don't think it's... You don't have to be that strict as to what abilities to use when. Because you really only have to worry about two of these pets. And I find the mechanical is pretty versatile. So generally I'll just um, throw the bombing run and then missile it to death. The solo fight with the Zeppelin should be in the channel as well if you're interested in that one. But um... Yeah. Just to make it more of a relaxed fight with two pets and the leveling one. This is how on I generally do it. So as you can see the bombing runs about to hit it. Doesn't take much more after that, if anything. 439, it should kill it off. Yeah. And this is where I would put my leveling pet in. As you can see, it's already 20 from two battles, which is pretty good. So if you want to, you can lay some of these. These abilities. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. And then I'll just finish it off with the tail sweep. There are probably faster ways to finish off this pet, but 
I mean, it does the job. So. I'm not okay. You. Usually just needs half a level by the time it gets to this stage. Let's see. Uh, well, I have a few of the leveling stones, so I may as well just give it that last little bit of XP. Okay, now next is Vishar. I'll go through the abilities once we're in flight. That is probably my favourite team to do out of all six. Well, Simri's pretty good too, for obvious reasons, but um, the Vishar one is just fun to watch. And I think you'll see why if you haven't seen it before in a minute. When I first linked it on Twitter, I called it a tale of explosion, it's because that's really what it is. Um, I came up with the um, team on the beta, and it's it's worked very well since then. Except I originally used a fell flame, but then I went to try one of the pets from the Timeless Isle, which is the Jade Fire Spirit. So, uh, Chrominius has the Arcane Explosion, Howl, Surge of Power, while the Jade Fire Spirit has Jade Claw, Immolate, and Fade, and then whatever you're leveling. Okay. So what you want to do is cast Howl. And then Arcane Explosion to your heart's content. It's great because it takes off chunks of damage of all three pets. So by the time the other two come into play, they're um, maybe half health already. Don't howl again, just Arcane Explode until it's dead. And then you'll howl when the second pet comes into play, which is the mechanical. Okay. Sometimes he will use his ability on this next turn to turn himself into a flying pet, which will make it... Um, make the surge of power really great. And it can... it can finish it off. But sometimes it won't use the ability to turn it into a, f a uh, flying pet. So we'll have to see whether or not it does or doesn't. It still takes off most of its health. And then you can finish it off with the second pet. Yep. So this one is good because it's strong against the next two pets. Uh, you can finish it off with... Jade Claw, it will come back up, and you can just hit it with Jade Claw Ken. Doesn't really matter. Immolate. Okay, and then this one is actually a little bit iffy because. Usually you would want to use this ability, and as you can see, the damage ranges from 259 to 389, but sometimes it can crit, and it will kill the pet before you've had a chance to play your leveling pet. So usually, if you want to make sure it does get that XP, hit it with Immolate. It will heal on the next turn, and he will get most of his health back. Yeah, like that. But at least you're safe that you haven't killed it in that first turn. Now you can hit with Jade Claw. And Fade. That will bring the third pet into play. And switch back. And just finish it off. Jade Claw. Okay.
pretty good. Okay, 14 levels. Next we'll be going to Talador. A dark wind is blowing. Retribution point. And for that one I use the next Whelping and the Nether Fairy Dragon. So Frost Breath, Mana Surge, Arcane Storm, and then Arcane Blast, Life Exchange, Moonfire. Okay. I'll just give it a heal for this one. Even though we don't need it for this fight, may as well, it's only four minutes. Well, it's going pretty well so far. I haven't stuffed up any of the fights, I haven't had to redo them, but since I've said that now, I might. <laughs> it might happen on this next one, or on Tar. But we'll see. <laughs> 